here we have the statistics and probability section of our WASI 2023 further mathematics elective mathematics additional mathematics paper 2 but before we start solving this question 12 i would like to plead with you to hit the subscribe button and also i want you to please share this video if you have not done so yet thank you so much for doing so the question 12 says the table shows the distribution of marks scored by some candidates in an examination construct a cumulative frequency table for the distribution draw a cumulative frequency curve for the distribution use the curve to estimate the number of candidates who scored marks less marks between 24 and 58 lowest mark for distinction if 12% of the candidate pass with distinction, so that is the question. So we are going to construct a cumulative frequency table. So we will find the upper class boundaries. So here it will be 20.5, 30.5, up to 100.5. So we will pick marks less than the upper class boundaries. Then that will give us this then we have the frequency as in the table over here on the cumulative frequency we add the frequency up to the current class so up to this class we add all the frequency up to five so all the ones before it are zero so zero plus five is five then when we come to this class we add all the frequency up to here so five plus 39 is 44 then when we come to this class 14 plus 44 is 58. Then 40 plus 58 is 98. We repeat that up to 200. And that should be equal to the total frequency here. So that is the A part of the question. Construct a cumulative frequency table for the distribution. Then we have to draw a cumulative frequency curve for the distribution. So we will have the max less than on the horizontal axis. Then we have cumulative frequency here on the vertical axis. So cumulative frequency will be here. So CF will be here, cumulative frequency. So we draw the axis then we label it as you can see so we choose a suitable scale for the vertical axis so that we'll be able to plot all the cumulative frequencies so we see the table these are the cumulative frequencies so we plot 20.5 against 5 that will be here then 30.5 against 44 that will be here then we have 40 5 against 58 that will be it so we repeat the same process to plot all the points as you can see then after that we will draw a smooth curve through it uh -huh. so this is the cumulative frequency curve that we have drawn now let's go to the C part of the question so use the curve to estimate the number of candidates who scored marks between 24 and 58. So we look at 24 on the max as is and trace it to the cumulative frequency. Then we also look at 58 on the max as is and trace it to the cumulative frequency. So that will give us, so we read this, each box is two on the cumulative axis. So we have 22 people here then we have uh, this is 140 plus two boxes 144 so the number of candidates who scored max between 24 and 58 is all the people within this region so that is 144 minus 22 which is got 122 candidates 
Now I want to estimate the lowest mark for distinction if 12% of the candidates pass. So if 12% pass, it means 88% failed. So 88 over 100 times the total number that will give us uh, 88 times 2 is 176. So we trace 176 from the cumulative frequency onto the max to know the max for distinction. So this will be 60.5. This will be uh, this will be 65.5. This will be this will be 65.5, 66.5. So this is 67.5. So 67.5. The 67.5 max is the lowest mark for distinction. Question number 13. A bag contains 16 identical balls of which four are green. A boy picks a ball at random from the bag and replaces it. If this is repeated five times, what is the probability that he did not pick a green ball? So the probability of picking a green ball is equal to 4 over 16, which is equal to 1 over 4. So the probability of not picking a, a, a green ball is is equal to 1 minus probability of picking a, a green ball, which is 3 over 4. Now, we're told that we need to find the probability that he picked a green ball at least 3 times. So this experiment is a binomial experiment. We have two outcomes. Either I pick a, a, a green ball or not. So probability of success, P, is equal to 1 over 4 or 0.25. The probability of failure is uh, 3, over 7, 3 over 4, which is 0.75. So the binomial probability is given by probability of x, big x, is equal to small x is given by n combination uh, n combination x p exponent x then we have q exponent x minus n minus x n minus x so probability of at least three times that will be equal to probability of x greater than or equal to 3. So that will be equal to probability of x equal 3 plus probability of x equal 4 and plus probability of x equal 5. So, sorry, I didn't manage my space well. So probability of x equal 3, of x greater than or equal to 3, will now be equal to, so n is 5, 5 combination x, which is 3, uh, 5 combination x here is 3. Then we have p, which is 0 0.25 exponent x which is 3 then 0 0.75 exponent 5 minus 3 which is 2 then we add it to uh, 5 combination 4 mm, 0 0.25 exponent 4 then 0 0.75 exponent 1 then we add it to 5 combination 5 we have 0 0.25 exponent 5 then 0 0.75 exponent 0 so we need to evaluate all these things and see what we will get. So when we evaluate, we get this, and 
finally this will give us 0 0.1035 now the B part says that the deviations from a mean of values from a set of data are negative 2 m minus 1 m square plus 1 negative 1 2 2 m and negative 2 find the possible values of m so when we add all these values we should get 0 negative 2 plus m minus 1 plus m squared plus 1 plus negative 1 plus 2 plus 2 m minus 1 as negative 2 is supposed to be equal to 0. So this negative 2 and this positive 2 take care of themselves. m squared, we have m squared here. Then we also have 2m plus m, that will give us 3m. Then we have um, negative 1 and positive 1 will take care of themselves. And negative 1 and negative 4 will be negative 2, so minus 4 is equal to 0. Two values of um, negative factors of negative four that when we add we get three is four and negative um, four and negative one. So we have m squared um, plus four m minus m minus four is equal to zero. So we have m outside plus four. Then we have minus m. Minus 1 into brackets m plus 4 is equal to 0. So we'll get m minus 1, then we have m plus 4 is equal to 0. So we have either m minus 1 equals 0 or m plus 4 is equal to 0. So m is either equal to 1 or negative 4. Thanks for watching. Please. The vectors and mechanics section is coming next. Kindly please subscribe to this channel so that you get a notification when I've uploaded them.